had them a 2 0 defeat to Barnet today, but we managed to push them all the way, and despite the result, you must be proud of the players. Yeah, I am. I am. It's always going to be very tough for us to come here and, you know, and to progress, I felt, but, um, you know, we, we put a plan in place to try and frustrate them and be organised and, and stay in the game. And I felt that in the first half, we, we were incredibly disciplined. We were poor when we had the opportunity to use the ball, but I, fe- I felt we reduced them to to virtually no chances really nothing nothing clear cut anyway and um, you know the, 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 the plan was to just try and stay in the game for as long as we possibly could and I'm just disappointed really with I'm disappointed with the first goal I'm so disappointed with that for the players because to put that amount of effort and work in and then to to concede a goal like that it's just it's just rubbish and incredibly frustrating and um, and of course then you know we, we had to try and find a way to Firstly, stay in the game, not fall further behind, and then you know see if we could maybe ask one or two questions from an offensive point of view. And, and I felt that the lads did incredibly well in, in in that sense. You know, we managed to stay in the game because they played better in the second half. They moved it better. They they made the pitch bigger, and um, and we did. You know, we, we we stayed in there, and you know we we managed to apply a little bit of pressure and get the ball into the final third a few more times. And and you know, Jimmy, it's the crossbar at 1-0 and you know then we throw Danny up for the last 10 and the second goal just, just killed us um, I don't think it's the, the greatest of, of kick outs and we're 3v3 on the halfway line um, and you know they, they, they win the first ball it, it drops and I think Adam Clayton you know he fouls a lad he, he drags him down and the frustrating thing for me there is it's probably the only time in the whole game the referees allowed an advantage and it, and it was you know it was a good decision to allow the advantage but the frustration from our side is we want that consistent for, throughout the game because there were there were a couple of occasions in the first and the second half where you know we were sat in and, and we, we pinched the ball and we looked to break and, and he blew up straight away and, and it killed us and um, and it killed us again there where he's, he's allowed it to to, to go ahead and they've obviously been very ruthless scored the second goal and um, and took the game away from us so uh, yeah it's, it's disappointing but you know I'm, I'm proud of how we stuck to the plan went about it and it's just disappointing with the, the manner of the two goals yeah, In those last 25 minutes you really managed to apply a bit of pressure and if Jimmy that had just gone a couple of inches lower than he'd have been banging the game Yeah well I mean he hit one with his left foot um, just over the bar um, he's obviously hit the one there with his right foot and he's rattled the crossbar and then we had a really good chance where we put a ball in and Ben Atkinson couldn't quite get his foot on the end and you know we 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 did we did we asked a few more questions in in the second half felt felt we should have had a penalty although it was at two 0 you know Danny's won won the first header Jimmy's flicked it on and it's it's just going to land to Carts and he's going to tap it in from probably about eight yards and it's it's hit the lad's hand. It's a penalty. I think if, it, if it's the other way around, I think he gives a penalty. But he, he didn't really give us much all all night, to be honest. So, uh, you know, we 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 certainly knew that coming here, they were going to dominate the ball, and we had to, you know, frustrate them and, and restrict them and um, and play for moments in the game, stay in the game for as long as we could. And and I felt the lads did that. It's just frustrating, as I say, with the. The, uh, the goals that we conceded, I, I think if we if we could have got to that last twenty minutes at nil nil, then you know maybe we'd be we standing here having a, having a different conversation. But unfortunately, it wasn't to be. And on the injury front, Dave made a brief appearance in the last game, and Kyle's been sidelined for a while. How are both of those two looking? Well, Kyle's a bit of um, a bit of an anonymous one because he's seen he's seen a specialist. He's got the best physio I think that he could have uh, in in Gasha. And uh, he's had an MRI scan and an X-ray, and nobody can find anything wrong with him. But he's he's still struggling, so I can't really answer that, one, Kyle. You, you might be better asking that to Kyle. Um, Dave, he, he he pulled up with a little bit of an issue with his um, with his calf ahead of the um, Telford game, and. Um, Sorry, no, it wasn't the Telford. It was the weekend before um, Curzon game, and um, you know he, he, he warmed up ahead of Telford, felt fine, and, and then we put him in, and, and I actually felt for the for the cameo that he made at the end, he, he did well, you know, and, and um, but he's he's just you know still a little bit of a niggle there, so we we we, we didn't want to risk him tonight, you know, we 
he's obviously travelled down. He's, he's he's had a bit of treatment. We've seen what he, he was like, and he he wasn't right. So it wasn't a risk we were prepared to take because he's, he's a very important player for us. And then going forward, there's a lot of positives to take tonight. I know we say it every week, but Saturday really will be a difficult game against a team that are flying high in the playoffs at Brackley. Yeah, I mean, every game's difficult, isn't it? We, we performed incredibly well against Brackley at home, um, conceded a very a very late um, goal for them to equalise, but uh, they're a good team. You know, they won the, the trophy a few years ago. They're always up around the, the, the playoffs and competing with the best teams in the league so it's going to be tough but every game's tough but you know the, the, the pleasing thing for me is the last two performances we've been more like ourselves we've, we've been competitive you know we've 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 um, we've, we've, we've been more um, we've been more at it right across the pitch and um, whilst we've obviously drawn at the weekend and, and, and lost tonight you know the players have, have given me everything and, and that's all that I've ever asked of them so We'll, we'll dust ourselves down now. It's going to be a long journey home. Um, obviously, a, a very late return. Um, and, and the majority of the lads will be back in work tomorrow. So, we'll, we'll probably give them the Thursday night off to just refresh. And obviously, we were, we're heading back down this way on, on Saturday for a tough game. But it's one that we've got to go into uh, trying to get a good result.